That's a lovely hurricane coming. That's better. Look at the lightning over there. candle wax melt empties for April and yeah I am shocked that I actually got through uh, this much I didn't even think at the beginning of the month that I would even have an empties video because I knew at the time I was going to be away for at least two weeks in April away from uh, home so yeah I was quite shocked that I even had enough to do an empties video but there you have it so um yeah, I went to, to my mom's up in Owen Sound for Easter, and we were up there for a few days. We had a lot of work to do inside and outside, and I did show some scene, uh, scenery, uh, my son's memorial bench that my family purchased in honor of my late son, Garrett, and I forgot to kind of pan out to show the view. Um, the bench is on top of this hill, and it um, it's kind of like a memorial park area of this larger park. Uh, a lot of people plant trees and benches and that sort of thing in honor of loved ones who have passed away. So Garrett's bench is up on top of this hill and you look down and there's all these trees and there's beautiful river. It's just an absolutely gorgeous view. And we also planted a tree for my dad um, who passed away <coughs> just a few years ago. Um, so we had uh, a little stone set up. So Frank got the wheelbarrows, the cement. We trucked up the hill and we um, we sort of secured the, the stone under my dad's tree there. Um, so yeah, it's a really beautiful area. And then uh, like four days later, we went to Ottawa. Uh, my son Julian had an art exhibit to set up for. And they also um, gave um, paid him to lead a workshop. Uh, so yeah, we were there for about three days and um, the art gallery slash ceramic gallery actually paid for our hotel and paid for the gas there and some meals and that. So uh, we kind of packed up the dogs and made a weekend of it. And then uh, a week later, uh, we went to the Cayman Islands. We were supposed to go there. Uh, 
in April of 2020, but guess what? COVID happened. Uh, so Frank's friend who works down the Caymans um, owed Frank some money and said, well, I'll just purchase some plane tickets for you. Okay, fine. But of course we did, didn't end up going. So we finally got around to going down there. And yeah, it was it was it was interesting trip. Let's just say, um, it was it was fun. Uh, but yeah, I I found out the night before that a mutual friend of Frank's and his friend who lives down there was accompanying us, and I can only take him in small doses. So it was kind of a long week, a lot of little personality clashes and that sort of thing. But anyway, um, I'm not going to that. Whatever. Okay, so. Anyway, and then when I came back, lots of catching up to do. Uh, I'm still got a pile of paperwork I should be doing right now with the bookkeeping, but I can't, I'm just getting tired of it. Um, and then Frank, yesterday I had to take him to the hospital. He had um, his colonoscopy done. He had cancer twice. Uh, the last time was about eight and a half years ago, almost nine years ago. And uh, yes, his colonoscopy came back normal exam so oh that's a huge relief I always am just a nervous wreck when he goes for these tests now he usually gets a cat scan at around the same time but they just said um colonoscopy in another five years so um yeah it was good news that way and then when I came back from the hospital my sister phoned and my mom um I told my sister because she usually gets up there a little more often than I do and she arranges the, the doctor visits and I said you need to make an appointment with mom I think she's going into heart failure so she phoned and said yeah she's um, they've started her on all these uh, medications for heart failure so um, yeah a uh, year year and a half ago she was on one thyroid pill and now she her list of meds is like this uh, but yeah, I told my sister, I said, like, her heart's 91 years old. Um, it's getting tired. So she still wants to live alone. Um, she doesn't want, she just doesn't, she, not that she doesn't want to live alone. It's just she does not want to move out of her house. She's been in there for 60 years. Uh, she just does not want to move out of that house. And um, so, we're yeah, we're still just trying to get there up as, as often as we can. So that's the update. Um, sorry, I should have warned you to skip ahead if you didn't want to hear me nattering on, but that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. And um, yeah, yeah it's, it's still going to be just a really busy week. So I thought I'd better squeeze this in while I have the chance. So yeah, I now a lot of these candles um, I had started last month and I was just finishing them up. A couple of them I've started this month or in April. But yeah, I was quite shocked that I actually was able to finish up this much. So, okay, let's start with uh, the DW Candle. And this is their Cafe Creations line. Now, a lot of them smell like coffee. This one was green green tea, actually. Uh, matcha green tea, which I do drink. Um, it has a lot more... Um, matcha actually has a lot more antioxidants in it than green tea. So I do like the matcha green tea. Um... <laughs> It looks foul, but um, it's good for you. So this one actually burned. I know I had um, a DW or a couple DWs last time that did not do well. They did not burn well, um, but this one actually did burn fairly well. It was a two wick. There is some soot um, because this one actually had to really, really trim the wicks. They were a little aggressive. Um, this one had a kind of a maybe a medium light to medium throw in the kitchen but that needs a really strong scent but it did better in a smaller room just a little bit stronger than medium but it was a really nice uh, green tea scent and uh, this one is a eucalyptus springs by Bath and Body Works this is fresh eucalyptus sparkling spring water and sweet lavender and uh, yeah, this one is very similar to like eucalyptus and rain, that kind of thing. It's, oh, can't smell it anymore. Took the wax out. But yeah, it was, it was bright, but not overly, the eucalyptus wasn't overly sharp or herbal. So, I mean, there's no koala bears knocking on my front door trying to get in or anything like that. It was, um, uh, the lavender in there was a softer lavender. Uh, it was a very 
watery type of eucalyptus lavender scent. Uh, and I don't remember having any issues with the throw and um, or the burn. So it was a very nice candle. And this was fresh mint and tea tree, um, which I actually started at the beginning of the month. Um, so this is bright spearmint, tea tree, and rosemary. So I didn't really, I didn't really get the tea tree. Uh, tea tree is a very distinctive smell. It's very sharp, very herbal, but I got more of a very soft kind of spearmint. Um, I don't think it was, maybe it was slightly on warm was veering towards a toothpastey kind of scent, but not too much. Um, maybe the rosemary might have tamed it down a little bit, but it wasn't a really bright, it was more of an earthy, watery, gentle kind of spearmint. Um, but I didn't have any issues with the burn, no puny wicks. Um, I melted this in my bedroom. It filled up my bedroom, but wasn't overpowering. So I did get a backup of this. Um, so I really did enjoy that one. And, okay, this one, pink lavender and espresso. So when uh, I s sniffed this in store, and when I got home, I just got straight up coffee. And then I was looking at all these reviews. Some people got just coffee. Other people were just getting lavender. Some people are getting lavender and coffee, and I just kept sniffing and going, I, I just get coffee. <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't know. It, it's it's kind of weird. But when this was melting, I did pick up the lavender, and the coffee kind of went more into the background. It wasn't an herbal lavender. It was a softer lavender. I did get the coffee. Um, but yeah, it was just... It's just one of those weird kind of candles. Usually with Bath and Body Works, you sniff it on cold and that's what you kind of get when it's warmed up. But this one just totally changed. I think people compared to this, to the previous candle, was it Lavender Musk or something? I can't remember now what they're comparing it to, but yeah, on cold, I mean on warm, I started getting the lavender in that and I was hoping there was more coffee. So it was just bizarre, but anyway. I don't remember having to, I, I remember the small wick, wicks, but not puny wicks. Um, and it actually kind of struggled in the kitchen. So this was better for a small medium room. I thought it was going to be stronger, um, but it was only like a medium throw. Anyway, that was interesting. Springtime in Paris. And I think I saved the lid because this, they had this beautiful multifaceted kind of lid on this one. And this is Soft Peach, Lotus Blossom, and Fresh Bergamot. Now, I didn't get the peach. I'm not into peach scents. This was more like a watery bergamot slash greenery scent. It really was quite lovely. Um, I think this came out again this year, and I should uh, hopefully pick up another one, because I really do like this one, because it's more of a gr watery green scent, which I really do like. Um... So I think Jules had this burning quite a bit in his room. So I uh, I think I just kind of finished it up. So I can't really say what the throw was or anything like that. But it's a lovely scent. And this is Spring Has Sprung. And this is Easter Lilies Dew Covered Grass in Early Spring Air. And this is from 2022. Yeah, this one was a lovely, lovely greenery set. It was floral, it was green, it was bright. Um, yeah, this one was really nice. Really like that one. And um, yeah, this spring has not been that warm. <laughs> Hasn't been the nicest spring. Um, I think one day we had, like when we went to Ottawa, it was hot, we were in our shorts and t-shirt. And then we, when he came back the next day, it was like a snow rain mix. Um, and then it was spring like the next day. It, we have had every season except fall in, in April. So on those colder nights, I was getting out my sweater weather. Um, yeah, I liked it. The only time I don't burn this is in the summertime. I think it's just a little bit too heavy, but the rest of the year I, I like to burn this one. And yeah, it's a classic. I never get tired of sweat weather. Oh, bergamot waters. 
Yes, I don't know how many of these I've gone through. Um, this is from 2018. Yeah, it's just, I, I just love bergamot. It's it's a citrus, it's, bergamot's kind of like a citrus family. It's watery. Some people say it's masculine. Um, but yeah, I just love this bergamot waters. Uh, it's just beautiful all year round. I never get tired of bergamot waters. No issues with the throw. Always, um, always a strong throw. No issues with the burn. So yeah, I did pretty good with the candle wise. Alrighty, and then for my wax melts, um, I picked some, when we still had our Yankee store open, um, I did pick up some of these Woodwick. They were selling Woodwick. I think Yankee had taken over uh, their company. So I bought about three of these packages and they were like at the SAS sale for like $2.50. So I, I picked up a few because I really did like them on cold. Um, they're definitely a masculine type of scent. This is indigo suede, which is leather patchouli layered with violet, cypress, and amber. I really did like them on cold, but I could not smell them. Um, I just could not smell them. Um, so I did have two others. I thought I threw them in here. Um, but yeah, just unfortunately no luck with those. This is Glade. Um, yeah, I think I still have one more package laying around. These are very hit and miss, these Glades. Um, if they are strong, they just don't last long or you just can't smell them. This is Deep Amber, Black Current Incense and Liquid Amber. And again, um, I did like it on cold. Could have used a little more Blackberry. Um, but yeah, I could, I could barely smell that. Uh, Sensationals. This is Wild Mint and Crushed Rosemary. I just love this one. It is just a fresh, pick from the meadow kind of mint. Oh, so, so good. Um, long lasting, good throw. Uh, this is Scentsy's Black Forest Pine. I had this in my dining room slash office and it had a good throw. Um, oh, I just love pine scents. And this one, oh, this one is actually a really, really good pine scent. So I did enjoy that one. The other uh, Scentsy was Bamboo Yuzu. And uh, this one was very light. I had this in Julian's bathroom and I put like three cubes in and I kind of struggled to smell it. Um, it's, it's kind of a, a soapy greenery scent, but yeah, I just wish it was a little bit stronger. And oh, this one I really like. This is Scentsy's The Lion King, and this is a really nice, I love my greenery scents. Um, whether they're bright or soft or earthy, I love greenery scents. And I really, really enjoyed that one. And then the last one was Country Home Candle, which is an online store here in Canada. They have a fit, they actually reopened their physical store. Um, this is eucalyptus and sandalwood. I just did, I, I could not smell this on cold or when it was warm. So anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, so I got to go, got to take the dogs out and I got to help Jules take some stuff down to an art gallery downtown and um, then <laughs> more paperwork to do. So um, yeah, that's that's what I was doing in April, just here, there, and everywhere. So I hope everyone's keeping well. Um, everyone take care. Uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.